Okay, update on my genius idea, influenced by my genius Australian friend. It didn't work, is the bottom line. What happened was, I put that, I lined that tire uh, inside with that extra piece of tire I told you about, and that gave it about that much more thickness. Now here was my problem. I pumped it up to the maximum capacity on the weight, 40 pounds, which with that extra inch of tire in there, I suppose was too much. Uh, and so what happened was, we didn't get a flat. We bush hogged about 10 acres, no problems, no flats. And then, and Muse with me, she's riding with me, and we made a turn and we looked down, because we were going through brush and limbs and briars and thick stuff, and we looked down and we said, hey, there's a tire. We thought we'd discovered a tire in all that mess that we were bush hogging. And then we realized, that looks just like our tire. <laughs> and so there was a, a wheel, or a tire, and the inner tube just laying there. And I looked down there to the right, and I'm just running on the rim. <laughs> and didn't even know it. It had com come completely off. So what I figured it happened was when I pumped that tube up to maximum capacity with that extra thickness behind it, it pushed the rim, it lifted the rim off of the, or the edge of the tire off of the rim enough that it came off. And so I just went and got these tires. These are called R1s. The other was F2 that has those ridges. And you notice we didn't get any flats on the back, and I think it's because of these big knobs. You know, the tire itself's inch and a half above the, the ground in most cases. So I put these kind of tires, like they put on four-wheel drives, but I put them on the front, and I believe that's gonna help keep me from getting flats. But that other idea really was genius. And I think in the right circumstance and done the right way, it, it could have worked. But when you come right down to it, the question is, why don't tire manufacturers, at least for tractor tires, make them thicker? You know, make them an inch and a half thick. You're not going for just a smooth ride at 80 miles an hour down the highway. You're, you're bush hogging, you're plowing, you know, you're doing stuff in the field. And so go ahead and make them thicker. And thorn, they won't be so easy to get punctured with thorns and things. And uh, that seems to me would solve the problem. But they don't. So in the meantime, we gotta come up with ideas. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that genius idea, it was a genius idea, <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs>